Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error code CE37813-2 on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. Now this error code commonly occurs when you're trying to attempt to connect to the internet on both wired and wireless connections. Now, the first thing you need to do is diagnose the problem, see if it's related to the PlayStation services or your home network. On the home screen, go to settings, then scroll down to network and select this option, and then go to test internet connection. Now, under this list, go ahead and see which one is not successful. So if it says obtain IP address is not successful, that's related to your home network. If PlayStation network sign-in is not successful, that's related to PlayStation network services one of those could be down. So let's go ahead and back out of this list right here now that we know which one is not working. Then we can also view the status of PlayStation Network Services right here if we back out and select this option. And this will give us a better idea of what is down on PlayStation Network. So all services are up and running right now, but we can see if Gaming and Social is down, PlayStation Store is down, or any other thing under this list. So everything is up and running. Now let's back out of here and go to set up internet connection. If you are using LAN, go ahead and try Wi-Fi. If you're trying to use Wi-Fi, go ahead and try to use LAN just to see if your connection will work. But well, let's choose one of these and then go to custom and set it easy. Then go to automatic for IP address settings. And then for the DHC host name, go to do not specify DNS setting. Let's go down to manual this time and type in 1.1.1.1.1 and then press R2 and next and then go to the secondary DNS and type in 1.0.0.1 and this will be the open Google DNS server and this one may be a little bit closer to you than your service providers so you may get better results. So let's go to next, go to automatic for the MTU settings. And for the proxy server, go to do not use and test your internet connection again and see if this fixes your issue. So everything is up and running and working for me. Now let's go over to my PlayStation 4 and perform a hard reset. Now go ahead and take your PlayStation 4 and hold down the power button for about 10 seconds. You will hear one beep initially and then a second beep. Then your PlayStation 4 will completely turn off and you'll know it's completely turned off when there is no light on the top here. If it is orange, that means it's still powered on and it's only in rest mode. Once your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off, go ahead and flip it around. So the PlayStation 4 is turned off. Let's disconnect the power supply. So now wait about 30 seconds to a minute and then plug your PlayStation 4 power cable back in and this will reset the cache on the PlayStation 4. If there is any kind of error or corrupted files, hopefully this will fix that problem. Now go ahead and plug your PlayStation 4 back in and turn it on. Also be aware about the location of your router and your PlayStation 4. Make sure it's not going through too many different walls or too many different objects because that could weaken the signal. Also do the same thing with your router and your modem. Unplug it from the wall outlet and plug it back in after about 30 seconds to a minute and just completely reset it. So if this PlayStation 4 tech help video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. For more PlayStation tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.